are on the move. In the 2188, Grandpa's right behind me at the service truck in the new eight row. Headed up here to the 80. Chuck looks like he's up there at the semi already. Hop in my truck. We brought it up here this morning. Had to put gas in it in the service truck, so we dropped it off here. Because Monticello is just a couple miles away. And we're going to hop in it and go back. Run Chuck to McNay and he can take the Peterbilt off. Then me and Grandpa are going to move the 2388 and the old Cornet up here. I think we're going to pick with two of them today the way it sounds. Get this field wiped out or for the most part wiped out. Get a good chunk done running too. Elevator as long as they stay open until 7 we can get quite a few loads in I hope. So we'll just have to see how things progress through the day but when we're done here we will go to Benjamin that's the what we're kind of planning on right now and we'll pick there probably just run one combine there we're gonna have to bring the cart up there to cart it out of the bottom there because you can't get semis down in the bottom so put the 240 on the cart and get that done so at least get the 80 for the most part cleared out today then that'll be my corn out of the way I got some contracted so we'll fill them contracts what we get off this and we'll have some extra and sell it for whatever we can get prices went down quite a bit so gonna get what we can get we got insurance for a reason we're picking Corn don't look like much. The tops fell out of it like I mentioned in earlier videos. As hot as it got, stalks had no health to them and they're pretty weak. But there are spots where the corn didn't do very good, but there's spots where the corn did pretty good. So this depends on the different types of dirt in the field. But this will be my second full hopper. So I just barely made it back. I have a feeling if I stop really quick, there's going to be a lot of corn in front of me. And not in a good way. So, dump on the freight liner. They should finish filling it or at least get it one more closer. Might need another one, but I'm ready. I'm going to find where it's split between rows and try to get on that terrace down there and cut the terraces. But... At least we got it to where we can go back and forth now. Grandpa's down by the tree line with the 2388. And he's picking down there. We're filling up a lot quicker than we figured we would when we looked at this earlier in the fall. So, doing better than we figured it would. goes first load off the 80. Chuck's hauling today. I have a feeling it means the corn's doing better than we thought it would. Trucks may not be able to keep up. May have to get a third one in here. We got another semi but we ain't got another trailer. That semi needs a couple tires on it. We need probably ought to just do that. That way we got that truck ready. But we may have Rick come haul a few loads. Bring his tandem.
Grandpa called Rick and he brought his tandem. He's gonna haul some for us. solo right now. Rick and Chuck are both gone hauling. Grandpa blew a steering hose onto his combine so he's having to run over to Quincy and get that all fixed up because it takes a flat face washer so he's got to go get that so he can get it fixed. So I may not need three trucks but Rick will be back before Chuck is and the freight liner is about half full so Rick shows up it don't take me very long to fill him up so I can keep him going and Chuck will usually get back right before I get the other truck loaded so at least the combine is not stopped that's the thing if the combine stops you ain't getting up again the trucks ain't moving that just means nothing's getting hauled but if you ain't got enough to keep them moving then it don't really matter up a good chunk of the back too. picking got past all the terraces so now we're on the long rows again grandpa didn't get back he's getting the hose put on he should be back up and running we'll get a good jack done before dark hopefully if we time it right we'll get another load in before dark and then after dark we'll have two trucks to fill if we play everything right. Well, we put a pretty big dent in this. We got it over halfway done. Still picking here. Sun just kind of got over the horizon over there, so. Way it's looking the front of that trailer's full i've dumped some in the back at least a hopper and a half in the back so what i got on the combine will fill it so i'll take that truck off because chuck ain't back yet when he gets back he can either keep picking or head out i don't know what he's gonna do but he'll probably start picking i'm getting more endros off here that way they can just keep going but this will top that trailer off and i'll head into town i don't mind taking a load today load or two maybe but I'm better off in a combine especially when it's my corn I kind of like to be here and show my own corn
This is about the quickest trip to Earth I've had in a while. Ain't nobody here close, close to closing time today. That's kind of surprising. Well, that was a pretty quick trip. I was able to pull right on the scales when I was coming through, so worked out good. About back. I've always told you couldn't see much in this semi, but I can see pretty good. Put the high beams on, you can see good. The low beams don't work near as good. They ain't near as bright. But I can see pretty good. This will be the last load to take the elevator. They should be closing here pretty soon. I got in there, got out pretty quick. I don't know how good it was for Chuck all day, but I think they finished. They started filling that other truck while I was gone. I don't know, but if they did, I'll haul it off in the morning while there's still a frost or a dew on. Just depends on what it's like. And we'll start picking, fill both trucks and up, and get a good run in tomorrow. Hopefully, finish this field up if we have no more breakdowns. We shouldn't, but knock on wood. So, guess this will be the end of this video, and we'll see y'all in the next one.